welcome back to another session of The Hoppery. My name is Mark Starr and today we're going to be taking a look at another beer from St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, this is from Schlafly, uh, which I just reviewed their beer to guard uh, probably within about the last three or four weeks. But uh, last year they had this beer on tap. Uh, it's called the A IPA or American IPA. And uh, I really, really enjoyed it. It really threw me off. You know, I mean, I wasn't saying that, uh, you know, I wasn't really looking for something to blow my mind from Schlafly, but really it did, you know. Um, but by the time I'd had it on tap, it was already gone from the stores. So this year, you know, I've kind of been keeping an eye out on the blogs, uh, the, you know, the websites for the liquor stores just to kind of find out uh, when this is going to come out. Well, Every time I've been checking lately, it hasn't been out. Uh, I was on my way down to the lake this weekend, stopped in at a local liquor store, and sure enough, they had just arrived. Um, so I grabbed a six pack and uh, really wanted to get one on the show uh, and see how this one compares to last year's batch. The reason why I say that uh, is that it clocked in at 8% ABV last year, and I noticed on the bottle this year that it says 7.2%. Um, so that's not a huge difference, but that's, you know, big enough difference that um, I'm really hoping that, you know, it tastes uh, as close to the way I remember it did last year. It does say on the bottle here that it was uh, bottled on 428, um, so that's really not that long ago. Uh, that means this is a really fresh beer, and that's my favorite type of IPA is really fresh, probably yours as well. Uh, but with that said, uh, let's go ahead and pour it. And uh, man, really looking forward to this. We're really looking to see, you know, again, is it as good as it was last year? Um, I can tell you it's a beautiful orange color, uh, very clear. You know, obviously this has been, you know, filtered out a lot. Um, maybe even a little bit of hop extract to use, not really sure. Uh, not a whole ton of head on there. You know, I can give it a nice little swirl like that and maybe get a finger or two, but. Um, you know, the head on it really has this nice, even bubbles, you know, soft, off-white, eggshell color. Um, I would say that it's dissipating somewhat quickly, um, but you know, as I have my nose over the glass, really good sign is that I can already smell it. It definitely smells fresh and that's a good thing, uh, but let's go ahead and get in there and uh, see if we can't pull out some more of those flavors and aromas. Interesting, okay, well, this falls into um, a class of IPAs that I tend to like. Um, it is a little bit more West Coast uh, than Midwest Coast, if you will. Uh, it's got this really nice, bright, citrusy aroma in there. There's a touch of grassiness, but the one thing that I like about this um, is that it has this uh, really summery peach uh, aroma in there and I love that. Not really sure exactly what hop uh, provides that sort of peachy character, um, but you know in the summertime if you take a peach and cut it in half, um, you know, really kind of get that fresh uh, summer, really astringent sort of peach uh, aroma, that's what I'm getting from here. But overall, you know, it's a really nice smelling beer. The aroma isn't, you know, real intense. It's not, you know, extremely obvious. Um, again, I'm having to really get my nose down in there, you know, to pull out those aromas. But let's see if the uh, flavors in there um, are about the same. Because if it tastes like it smells, it's going to be a really good night. All right, guys. Well, here we go. Well, believe it or not, I'm getting that peach right up front. And I really, really like that. There's a good amount of bitterness. A uh, good amount of sweetness. I do like the sweetness level in here. It's just balanced perfectly. Uh, maybe only a very faint touch of like orange rind, uh, but the citrus on it, the grapefruit to me is not really as present uh, as that peach character. And I think that, you know, that's very similar to how I remember it last year. I really remember that peach character being something that I liked. Um, if I remember correctly though, I thought it was a little bit more uh, dank, if you will, you know, last year, but this year it doesn't seem to be as uh, potent. And I would say that, you know, because it's been brewed within about the last two to three weeks, that um, it should really be at its prime right now. So, all 
I will tell you for a IPA that's just over 7%, this is really nice. Um, this is the kind of beer you can sit out on your porch in the summer, you know, sit out on the deck, have two or three of these in a nice warm evening, and it's just a great tasting beer. It's not too bitter, it's not too sweet. The mouthfeel on it is really kind of light. Um, again, there's just that touch of sweetness. Overall, I would say this is probably not, um, you know, an amazing beer. I really like it a lot. I'm just trying to, you know, be honest with kind of where I'm at in terms of rating it. Um, I think it's, you know, there's really nothing wrong with it. I mean, for the style, really nice beer. I uh, just would like to see a little bit more hop in there, at least on the uh, flavor end, on the aroma end. Um, but I guess that's about it. You know, nothing to complain about here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish this one off, and uh, I've got about five more in the refrigerator. I think I'll probably knock off another one or two of these tonight and uh, call it a day. So, well, anyway, guys, thanks a lot for coming back to the Hoppery. And I did want to say that when you look at the inside of this cap, it says Chippewa at Brannon. So, uh, extra credit for anyone who leaves me a comment down there and tells me what is Chippewa at Brannon. It has a what looks like a zip code of 63109 underneath. So if you know what that is, I could Google it, but why don't you Google it for me? Let me know. Or maybe you're somebody watching it here in the area and you know what Chippewa Brandon is. I don't know. I've never heard of it. So well anyway guys, that's it. We'll see you. Cheers.